it can be quite cheap, quite expensive. I said, oh, we should send them to Turkey instead. And mum was saying, no, you don't go surfing in Turkey. You might find you have a couple of migrants hitching on. <laughs> so... Well, you don't have to pay for a return flight. <laughs> uh... Your family does, though. <laughs> Surprisingly, uh, surprisingly expensive to get a corpse home. It is. This is where the uh, the insurance, uh, in <laughs> travel insurance, is always a preferred you choice. They could like vacuum pack it or something. <laughs> something to do with regulation as opposed to the actual. It has to have uh, like a fucking plane to itself or something utterly silly. Really? Uh, I can't remember it's being it's along that, but... those lines. It's. It's yeah. The the regulation has a lot of the um. You, you the can't cost. just put it in a fucking shipping container. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna sort of yeah. s smuggle it in your hand luggage, are you? <laughs> well, no. It would. <laughs> it, it would probably be cheaper on something of magnitude of ten to fl to get a body home via a, a cargo, as, as in well, buying uh, a uh, single uh, forty foot. Co Container. You went over this the other day, Owen. You could get what about yeah. I don't know, three hundred Chinese corpses to the UK for five hundred pounds. Yeah, so people do it all the time. One, <laughs> one corpse in a forty-foot container, then it would be for one corpse. Sorry, all the corpses on a plane over here. So <laughs> I'm tired dividing. of these corpses on this plane. <laughs> <laughs> they're just everywhere. They're popping out the hangar drills. They're in the the woman's tea trolley. <laughs> so, so what's the next part? Crashing this plane <laughs> with no survivors. Actually, I wonder what happens with that. If if someone has ever been uh, accidentally issued a death certificate twice because they died, got travel, got uh, transported a plane. The plane crashed, and they thought the body was um. That's a remarkably specific turn of events. Well, you never know. I mean, what do you think they'd complain? Excuse me, I've been <laughs> I've been given this death certificate twice. Very inconvenient. <laughs> Aren't you dead? Oh yes. Uh, oh, do you know it's funny? My boss had a daughter in, in work today. <laughs> <laughs> Women I, in work. <laughs> You're right, well, Owen. That's hilarious. My 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 boss. My boss is a woman. Your boss is a woman. <laughs> yeah, both uh, okay. And the grandfather, sorry, so there's one man. The grandfather's the a woman? woman. <laughs> <laughs> no, what no. is this? And the grandfather is a boss who is a man. Okay. So, um, I'm glad for the clarification. Anyway, she's... I, I'll give, I'll give, I give lessons to her. So she was taking advantage during the homework there with me. But anyway, regardless of that... Who's taking um, advantage of you? The, um, actually, I got her to... Um, she said she was bored. So I said, oh, you know, uh, when you build Whoa. an origami crane Wait. and... Uh and oh she actually she actually went about doing it. I was like, I'm a good father. <laughs> <That's good enough. laughs> I was just really impressed the fact that I impressed on her so much. She was like, that's a cool idea. I'll build an origami crane. And she spent the rest of the day building an origami crane. So, um, the little love. As in the, the, poor the girl. construction equipment or the bird? The bird. <laughs> Where have you found an origami crane construction equipment? Well, you said you spent the rest of the day doing it. How long does it take to do a fucking bird? Have you ever tried making an origami crane, having never made any of the origami items? It's pretty tricky. You have to twist oh, and change it. the corners. Oh, Along with the fact that she was, she was being given tasks by her mother to do. As in, okay. go get me water, go file this. <laughs> Holy crap, I might as well do a bloody entire massive 50 foot t crane made of origami. Just there, like, you know, 500 Chinese people building a freaking uh. origami crane, and just rain comes along and they're just screaming and people are running <laughs> through the hills.